The, the principal advantage of electric motors versus hydraulics is efficiency. Because hydraulics are controlled primarily through throttle valves, a lot of energy is wasted in the, just pumping the hydraulic fluid and controlling it. Um, I believe a secondary advantage of electric motors is probably responsiveness and controls. Um, several years ago, I was involved in the development of uh, what's called EMALS, uh, Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System. Um, we replaced a uh, steam engine with an electric motor, uh, and the principal reason we did that was not so much weight or efficiency, uh, but it was controllability. And electric motors are eminently controllable. So uh, we anticipated that we could extend the life of the fighter aircraft that are launched off of aircraft carriers by probably a factor of two in number of launches. Um, and. Uh, and believe it or not, that made the whole development worthwhile. The more electric ship or electric propulsion for ships is motivated primarily from uh, the point of view of efficiency. Um, the efficiency advantage comes about because, well, a ship has a prime mover, uh, which is an engine. Um, most commercial shipping uses diesel engines. Uh, many naval vessels use gas turbine engines. Direct drive has uh, some very decided disadvantages. Um, the modern destroyer uh, in the U.S. Navy, for example, has a gearbox. Um, gearboxes for naval vessels uh, have very precise machining requirements. And, um, and therefore they're expensive. Uh, they're not particularly lossy, but they are expensive. But the thing that they do is they require a fixed gear ratio between the engine and the water. And, and that imposes a condition on the prime mover uh, that, that means that for most of the operation of the ship, it's not operating at near its uh, fuel efficiency sweet spot. And um, because of that, um, and because fuel is, is a very important component to the cost of operating a ship, uh, virtually all cruise ships now um, are using electric propulsion. Um, I understand much commercial shipping also uses um, electric propulsion and uh, even the Navy is starting to use electric propulsion for its its latest generation destroyer. Uh, there's another advantage uh, beyond simple fuel efficiency for um, for ship propulsion uh, and that is uh, has goes by a, a very colorful term the tyranny of the shaft line uh, which means you have, if, if you're going to use a direct gear drive, the engine and the gearbox and the propeller must be lined up very precisely. And in many cases, that takes up very valuable real estate within the body of the ship. With electric propulsion, we don't have that problem. We can put the motors, in fact, in many cases, in cruise ships, the motors are put in a pod underneath the ship. The engines can be placed anywhere where it's convenient. Uh, and that is quite valuable.